into my woman's breasts and take my milk the gall. <laughs> days of Christmas and I have been assigned eight maids a milking. <laughs> so the first the first thing that runs through my mind is unadulterated panic because like nothing comes to mind. Hey, the only thing I can think of is cow. You could do uh Pamela or Shamala, which is even worse and a bit niche if you haven't read those particular books and like I'm all about making theatre as accessible as possible. We break this down. Eight maids. Eight. Can I do something about the number eight? Infinity symbol. Annoying gap year girls who get that tattooed and don't understand life. <laughs> all I all I can envision is someone like milking a cow, because obviously like that that that's what, what's occurring. Um, the, the post is here. The postman has been. I've tried on my cute new skirt from boohoo.com. <sighs> Let's do this. Maids. Nah. No, no. Milking. So we're, we're on milk. Because I feel like what, what makes the maids special in the song is the fact that they are milking. So I can either go down the cow route or the milking route. Now cow route, I played a cow in a production of By Jeeves. I've been there, I've done it, nothing new. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna develop, I'm not gonna stretch myself as a performer. So that leaves me with milk. And then I'm thinking tea, right? Because everyone likes tea. We could do a sketch about the amount of milk that people have in their tea because I've been told that I have way too much but personally I think that this is the perfect colour. Relatable. But not, 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 not that relatable. And then I'm thinking Shakespeare, right? Because I love Shakespeare. That's like my thing. It's my one key personality trait is that I really like Shakespeare. So, milk in Shakespeare. Milk, white skin. Of many of the heroines, sounds very tenuous. Lady Macbeth says, Take my milk for gall, you murdering ministers. Like Macbeth. Cracking, cracking play. Lady M, the ultimate bad bitch. But, I don't know, I feel like to get into like the real Lady M feel is not particularly Christmassy, it's not very festive. People don't need like the whole unsex me here at this time of year when it's all dark and gloomy outside. I want to do something light, something frothy. So, milk. Take my milk ball. And then, and then I think, well, what is the most famous milk scene of all time? It's the one with friends, right? I'm, I, I'm going to recreate the whole scene because otherwise it's just a bit. I feel like people are going to need some context. Um, but I don't want to just do it like word for word. I want to like spice it up a little bit, try to make it like a little bit Shakespearean. So instead of like, um, can you do tap dancing? I'm. It's, it's gonna be like, oh, did you really? Are you really the look like a flower, but are the serpent underneath it? I don't know. Fun of like Shakespeare references that hopefully everyone will get. And it's. It's a one take wonder. So that means everything has has to go right. It has to. I am not doing this twice. Okay. Did you really give your kingdom for a horse? No. Right, then it's off the resume. Did you take a pound of flesh? No. Did you have sex with Oberon? Would fall off a lot. Wait, you can drink a gallon of milk in 10 seconds. That I can do. Come on, you cannot drink a gallon of milk in 10 seconds. All right, watch me. Okay, I'll time you. Go. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, I'll time you. <laughs> I don't think I can do this. You can do it. Sorry. <laughs> I, just, I just need to, a hot second. You need to make sure you stay. I, I can. As much as you can. Okay. Right. Can you can you give me my cue again? 